What's going on folks, it's your guy Barry High. Today's video is installing LSPDFR. Let's went to LSPDFR.com, clicked on this blue download LSPDFR button, and uh, up here at the top or down at the bottom on the description page, you can also hit another blue download file. And this is gonna be on a 139 megabytes roughly. Let's go ahead and click that download file. You'll then be prompted to answer some user agreement stuff. If you want to progress, go ahead and agree and download. For this video, I'm using the uh, automatic installer, the EXE. There's a manual install if you'd like to, but we're going to stick with the EXE. So I've already downloaded it here, and we are going to launch it straight from my downloads. And it should load any second. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm going to choose English. That's the language I speak. I'm going to hit next, hit agree, hit next, hit uh, browse. Right here, we need to find our GTA directory. Since I play on the Epic Games version, I'm going to go to my C drive, uh, program files. If you played on Rockstar Games, you'd be going to this folder. On Epic Games, I'm going to click on the Epic Games folder. For the Steam launcher, you would right click your application, go to your properties and then open file location to find your main GT5 directory on Steam. So for Epic Games, we have our GTA 5 directory. Let's go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to hit Install. Now it's going to install everything we need, one of those being the Rage Hook plugin. So now that everything is getting installed, we're going to launch this first-time configurator. It's going to help us uh, wrap up the process here. <clears throat> So I'm by no means an advanced user. So we're going to hit this show license part. And once that prompts, once that pops up, it's going to prompt us to agree that Rage plugin hook is not affiliated with Rockstar Games or Take-Two. We're going to accept that fact of that reality. And on this next one, we're going to click do it for me because they want us to change some settings that they recommend. So we're just going to have them do it for us. And then we're going to hit OK. It says LSPDFR has been installed successfully. But that's not it. Let's go ahead and locate our main GTA 5 directory. I'm going to right click my start menu, go to File Explorer. And once that pops up, we're going to hit the C drive and Program Files, Epic Games, GTA 5. So here we go. We have Rage plugin hook right here. We have an uninstall for LSPDFR also, and we have a folder that it has created. Let's go ahead and pop inside that folder real fast and take a look at the keys configuration settings in here. It's going to give you all of the keyboard and controller settings uh, for, you know, different actions you can take inside of LSPDFR. Take your time, get familiar with that, and then we're going to back up to the main GTA 5 directory and take a look at the Rage Hook plugin. So before I even get the game started, I'm going to open the Rage Hook plugin real fast. <clears throat> All right, it says first time initializ initialization. We're going to let that do its thing real quick. Still doing its thing, I'm not sure. We're waiting. Okay, I think it's I think it did its thing. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is what we wanted to see. Now for the plug in timeout threshold. For me, initially when I first tried this, uh, 10,000 was, was too short. So I read around and 60,000 was a decent enough uh, for me. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to change the console key from F4 to F7. Oh, press the key that we want to be our console key. I'm going to change mine to F7. Leave yours to whatever you want. But I did pl change my plugin timeout threshold. We can look at the plugins. It's going to load everything on startup, advanced settings. I'm not going to touch anything else in here. But notice there is a revert game version as well. And we can back up our game version. If we want to, we can back up the current game version. So that if anything ever comes out, we can always revert back to it. You have me. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm just going to hit save and launch. We're going to hit OK again. It's going to launch, but I'm just going to close it out real quick. I just wanted to get those changes set up. 
Okay. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to hop into my Epic Games launcher here, and I'm just going to launch GTA 5 from it like so. All right. And then once it starts loading and getting ready to load and get on launch the game, now we're going to launch the Rage Hook plugin. And it's probably a good idea to also make <clears throat> a shortcut to your Rage Hook plugin that you can just pop on your desktop or even down in your taskbar, should you choose to. All right, so it's hooking game instance. Enjoy. All right, it has recognized the game. And now it's going to load up and all that cool stuff. We'll see you guys in Los Santos. And here we are. We are inside of beautiful Los Santos. Let's go ahead and hit start. Notice the map here. We've got police departments now. Jails and police departments. Later the map of Los Santos and San Andreas as a whole. Let's go ahead and teleport to one of them out here in Sandy Shores. Let's just do it. This has to be a familiar sight. Scoop. Boom. So now we can go on duty right here at the county sheriff's office. All right. So I've entered the room to go on duty. It's going to ask us to create a character. So let's hit go on duty. I'm using a controller. You can also use a keyboard. Now we're going to select a character. So just like for GTA Online, you can create a character for LSPDFR, single player, offline, whatever. You can also create a character. It's also got some pre-made characters. This dude looked crazy for a second. We can make male or female. You can change up their heritage. You know? Oof. Got some ugly parents. There we go. Uh, okay. You can change some features up, like their eyes, face, everything. What kind of eyebrows they have. They got some freckles, some skin damage. Who knows? And then you can go ahead and save and continue. Then if you want to give them a name, you can. Um, Joy Lake View we can use, or they have an option to edit. We can also use a preset character, but we'll use Jake. I mean, Joy, <laughs> Joy is going to play a Jake, a cop. You know what I mean? That's what I meant to say. So here we go. We are loading into Sandy Shores Sheriff Station. Say that five times fast. Sandy Shores Sheriff Station. And we're going to check out our police locker. What agency are we going to be working for? Well, we're going to be working for uh, Sandy Shores, baby. I don't know. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> we're going to be working for the Drug Enforcement Agency. Uh, and we can do components so you can add gear on here, change up its texture, stuff like that. And, uh, let's see, we'll become an officer from, uh, you know, from a department that way we can, uh, get some cool gear. So as you can see, each department has its own available uh, loadouts, inventories. Uh, we want to get patrol, a patrol stun inventory, advanced customization, and then we can just confirm that. Um, and then we can take a look at the police garage and see what kind of whip we want to get. So going through all of the different jurisdictions again, we have a wide selection of vehicles to choose from. I'm going to stick with the sheriff's cruiser. Oh, actually, I'm going to get this SUV, bye. Got some liveries, our unit number changes up on there. You know, the roof changes up its livery. You can hit components, whatever that is. And we can turn all, we can give this truck turbo. So we're going to do that. And then we'll hit continue and we're going to hit the block. All right, we are out here and we are now on a duty. 
Now let's go ahead and see if we can talk to some suspects here. We can access the police computer inside. Oh shit. I missed. Do how come, come on, bro? I don't miss that bad. Boy, they almost took this man's life. Damn. It's a shame. Yeah, I don't know. You know what? There's other mods that make this uh, that much more um, playable and fluid and immersive. And we're going to be coming out with some more videos on those mods, like Immersive Dispatch, Grammar Police, um, Call Out Systems, all kinds of different mods. EUP is going to help us get some way cooler gear out of here. Uh, Stop That Pad. Oh, let me tell you, there's so many mods that make this even more uh, immersive and fun. And expand upon it. I'm your guy, very high. This has been yet another video for a game for a plugin based off a game called GTA 5. Now, I'll see you in the next video, guys. I'm gonna install some mods. Peace.